in the quiet town of Shurugui, a heinous crime unfolded that shook the community to its core. Tondere Marabwa, a 33-year-old biochemistry teacher at Pakame High School, was embroiled in a tragic tale of love and betrayal that ended in the death of his pregnant girlfriend, fortunate Cindy Sitole. According to reports, Marabwa and Sitole had arranged to meet at Esikosini Lodge in Bulawayo where she stayed. After a sexual encounter, a dispute arose when she told him she was pregnant and wanted to meet his family. Marabwa, who had another pregnant girlfriend he intended to marry, was angry and in a desperate act to cover up his affair, he strangled Sitole with her headscarf. To conceal his crime further, he placed a mattress over her body and set it on fire. He then fled the scene, locking the door behind him. The receptionist at the lodge noticed a smoke coming from their room and she called the fire brigade. Unfortunately, by the time they arrived, Sitole had already perished in the fire. Her body was charred by the fire and there was a cloth around her neck, obvious evidence of a homicide. The police launched a manhunt for Marabwa based on the information obtained from the lodge and description by the receptionist. And he was arrested two days later when they tracked him down to Mushanga Woodsy Township in Vuma. Justice Makonese, who presided over the case, noted Marabwa's lack of remorse and described his murder as callous. The severity of the crime and the cruel manner in which it was carried out led to Marabwa's lengthy sentence. This case left a lasting impact on the community as he was sentenced to 25 years behind bars. This story is a stark reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the human heart. It is a narrative of a crime that not only ended a life but also shattered the tranquility of a community, leaving an undeniable mark on the souls of those touched by the tragedy. May her soul continue to rest in peace.